what I want to help you in this consulting segment is to get that confidence and have the competencies to be able to step out on social and to really embrace that two-way conversation. So how can you do it? Well, first of all, it's about mindset, right? So ask yourself, do we have a publish and go strategy? And what do I mean by that? Well, I'm referencing the fact that you are publishing social media posts on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and then you're going. Even the nature of the tone and the text and how you craft your social media posts, it's almost like broadcasting from radio, statements that you make in a press release, putting out your point of view in a statement or delivering a speech. We've got to reframe that thinking and we've actually got to think about the social part of social media. So let's, a a great way to, to visualize this, and I used to do it when I worked in radio. So when I was trained in radio, I was always taught to visualize one person that I was having a conversation with. So I could see their face and I felt them in front of me. And that allowed me to put a bit of emotion and meaning and to really connect with my audience through a radio. Um, You've got to do the same thing with social. You've kind of got to visualize a citizen, a member of the public who you're communicating to. What's that singular message? What are they feeling right now? Um, What is their personal situation or their professional situation? And how is your social media post, but your message essentially, going to make them feel? So that's really, really important. Visualizing an individual, having the mindset and being discerning about your copy and your creative that you want a response back. The other thing about social media and not having a broadcast only strategy is that we get wonderful insights into how the public feel, what they're thinking. And this can prepare us for traditional media interviews. It can help improve our communication strategies, identify gaps in our comms and fill those gaps. After all, the conversion for you on social media is public trust. So if you're going in with a broadcast and a publish and go strategy, you're kind of going to leave your audience feeling underwhelmed and even shortchanged. And that's not really what you want to do. So what I say to my clients and to my students is embrace the feedback, embrace the negativity, embrace the dialogue, because it's in that conversation that you're going to get better on social media, that you're going to increase public trust and that you're actually going to demonstrate that you care and that you are a transparent and open and a social media and digitally first-minded government or public sector agency.